Hey guys, so I figured I'd talk to you a little bit about how to, or rather, <laughs> this is not a universal truth because in all honesty I'm not an expert at search relevancy and so forth, but I do have a fairly good amount of search results on my LinkedIn account when it comes to people, you know, looking for experienced developers and that type of thing and I thought I'd tell you the way that I think about structuring my features my skills and endorsements and you may be asking yourself okay why do you like Frederick why do you like focus so much on just on the skills and the endorsements well the fact is that when people are searching like if you have a a paid for account or if you are a recruiter of some sort you can actually you, you are looking for specific skill sets so the search results will be very dependent it's not exclusively depending on the skills and the endorsement sections but uh, but basically it is the place where you can declare the search tags these are virtually hashtags that the LinkedIn search algorithm uses to get an indicator of what type of person you are which means that you know if if you fill your skills and endorsements with a bunch of I don't know massage therapist relevant keywords and you are a programmer you are never going very uh, um, if there's nothing else then that's the way that you're gonna get indexed you're not your your relevancy for people looking for programmers is going to be very low and for you know you young people out there who know all about social media this hashtag system is probably f you know fairly old hat but the question is how do you optimize for relevancy now the relevancy part is a little bit difficult because it's so hard especially when you're starting out to know what is going to give you a good research result now I I'm not in any I'm I'm not going to say tell you that you know you should at no point ever you should never 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 lie on the skills and endorsements because all that's gonna happen is that you are going to be contacted by a bunch of people because as a, trust me if you are a programmer you will be contacted trust me even if you're a junior programmer you're going to get contacted so you're just gonna get contacted you're gonna sit there and they are going to like you're just going to waste your own time you're gonna waste their time because you can't do the things that they're asking for you don't have to be an expert or a master in every single thing but you should have some experience with what you're claiming to have experience in now let's get down to the to, to the actual words so getting endorsed and having like a nice number of people endorsing those skills is very very nice and it, but it's actually not the most important thing you know having the most amount like having a lot of people endorsing the same skill will be very beneficial for you and that that that's great but actually getting the real key that getting the keywords right is actually more important because some people are actually looking for junior developers so and you know this happens to me like I you know although I have a lot of endorsements on all all these other skills and most of these skills I haven't been doing spring development for two years at least but I am today doing a lot of stuff with Scala and Kubernetes so I add like you remove old keywords that are not working out for you so much anymore and then, or rather that are less relevant and then you kind of have to restart over again with these and that's that's fine the because the it's more important that you have the right keywords versus having a lot of endorsements on these on these keywords and what do I mean by right keywords well the thing is that I fill out when I when I first started I, f I added all of the skills that I could possibly think of that was relevant to what I believed that people were looking for in the software industry and as I like in the beginning I didn't really know that but today I have a fairly good understanding so my biggest mistake was that I thought that uh, that keyword such as that described me as a person and 
soft skills and all of that stuff had relevancy it does not if it does not just hear me out when people are looking for people to hire and so forth they are looking to match you against the requirements of their client or their company and that usually means that they have specific technologies or trendy concepts that they themselves want to look for i mean it's the way that you know if you want to lose weight you're not going you're you're going to most people will search for certain things and it's all about figuring out what is those certain things that people are looking for so if we go from the top here now java is it's actually not my strongest programming language believe it or not it's just the oldest one because i started my career doing that and then javascript and then css and here we have web development angular js node.js android development spring mongodb software development python and the list goes on and on and on and on now if you look over this list you will see that for the most at the top level here most of the stuff a few deviations here and there, computer science and software design and so forth. But most of it is like Ruby, Git, C, HTML5, Neo4j, Gradle, Maven, Redis, Swift, Go, Laravel. These are specific technologies. And this is something you will like, if, if you're like me and you tr like you, you build a lot of different things and you love, love programming and you try out all these different technologies and you know, you get fairly, fairly good with them. It, it, becomes really I th this is like the best thing you can do like this one react js this is probably the most valuable keyword with like it's not the only one but react js no js that thing right now for front end developers is probably the most invaluable keyword you can have angular js having that with react js is also extremely powerful because these are the two most trendy frameworks on the market today the reason why I have things like you, you, for me, a web developer or like software developer or thinking of that nature, they, these are things I add in because I can't really add any type of specific, like I, I just run a, a basic, I don't have enough technologies, I don't know enough stuff to be able to put things that are more relevant. But whenever I can put something that I, I, I whenever I learn something that I know has a lot of relevancy, I mean, I. I put it here immediately. I could take Docker for example. Docker is also an extremely powerful keyword in the DevOps community because it's the most popular technology right now. Android, yeah, that's fairly useful, but Android is not going to give me as much of a buzz about my profile as say knowing which one could be used more interesting than that. Well, well no JS maybe. So no, depending of course of who's looking for things. Like Android developers, they're looking. People are looking for Android developers, but trust me, the Android developers and iOS developers are and iOS development is not as trendy as some of these other. Like there's a larger amount of people looking for. It's like the most people that contact me are f people who are looking for a Java developer or a. Uh, front-end React JS developer or and some of them are just looking for any developer basically that's how big the demand is they don't really care what you know they just want to know that you're good at whatever they're gonna put you in they're gonna put you at doing right so that's the way I think you should have uh, you should think about optimizing these keywords <clears throat> So forget about setting, uh, like putting things on your skills, uh, like, uh, you know, people person, always smiling, uh, energizer, all these, so th these mean absolutely nothing. These are not concrete things, so don't use them. Focus on figuring out what is truly interesting in the software development world and for the most part it's going to be specific technologies but sometimes it's also take this one test driven development this is a way a practice of working it has nothing to do with with actual software technology but it's a very very popular concept same thing with behavioral driven development this is one isn't that it's not as powerful but it's a way of working that is very very relevant to software in the software industry so yeah hopefully this have given you some ideas of how to structure your profile skill set in a way that 
you know will give you great research results and you know don't be afraid to pull out like if I learn a new interesting language that I think is well uh, relevant I'm gonna remove like this Swedish word for web development or something like that or pro because I don't need to s have a skill set programming because all of these other software uh, software technologies well they already prove that I'm a programmer I don't have to say that you know add a programmer word here to, to communicate that and if uh, I wanted to actually sell the idea that I'm a good software developer I don't do that down here I do that up like here where I talk about myself so here it's all about having relevant trendy technology words that make you rank high on search results.